Hello guys, um, I just wanted to do a quick video uh, to explain a couple of things that are kind of uh, going to be happening with learning, uh, with the online learning, and also to go through a troubleshoot of quite a few common problems that kind of seem to be keep coming up with students that I'm talking to on the phone. Okay. So first of all, um, as usual, your work will be attached to this post. Um, please complete it in the places indicated, and then you hand it in uh, before the deadline on Friday. Um, I have just put there, if you need any help, please read through, read through the steps I've outlined below, and I am going to go through those steps with you in a second. If none of these steps help, then email me or leave me a comment in Google Classroom explaining what you're finding difficult. I am your teacher, okay? I am here for you if you are struggling with the work. I can email, I can comment, I can also phone home, and I don't mind doing that at all, but you need to communicate with me if you're finding it difficult, all right? So you need to let me know that, and then I'll be able to help you further. And I will go through those steps. Um, in a second. But first of all, I just want to tell you about something else. So you may well know uh, from communication with parents last week, that we are going to be doing um, 30 minutes of live Google Meet teaching every two weeks, okay? So um, I am going to start this this week with year 11 on Wednesday and year 10 on Friday. Um, it's new to me too, okay, so bear with me. Um, and we will talk a little bit at the beginning about how we're going to use these sessions so i won't give you that information now um i'll tell you about that in the meeting but please do come okay it's part of your timetable um and on the post in your classroom it will tell you exactly what period what time um when i'll expect you to be there and when i'll put the google meet link, link on, okay um p stage three classes so you're seven eight and nine i'm gonna start it with you next week okay so you won't have any live teaching this week from me uh, but you will the following week have 30 minutes each okay so i look forward to seeing you guys then um, so yeah, you'll see the section on the post uh, where I talk about Google Meet or where I write about Google Meet, I've put um, what period and what time, okay? If anybody has any problems with that, um, please can you email me or contact me beforehand, all right? Um, one of the key things that you need to make sure of is I will put in your post what lesson I've expected you to do before that point. Um, so when I see year 11 on Wednesday, they will already have had a timetable lesson on the Monday and I will have expected them to complete lesson one. So we're going to pick up from lesson two in the PowerPoint. OK, um, so I, I will tell you that very clearly in the post each week if I'm going to be doing a live session and what you need to do beforehand. Um, it would be great if you can do that, but please don't not come because you haven't managed to do, do the work and you think you're going to be in trouble. All right, that's not going to happen. Um, I'm just here to support you and help you. And it might be that if you struggle with it, we can stay on the Google Meet a bit longer and I can talk to you about that. Okay then, so I just wanted to troubleshoot some problems um, or some solutions uh, that I've been going through with students this week, okay? Um, and they are just quite basic things that some of you might be doing already, but I just wanted to remind you of, um, or just talk to you about a couple of them. So, a lot of people have been telling me that they feel a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of work, um, or they're struggling to kind of get through the work. Um, they also, I have a lot of students that say, I can't do it. And then when I ring them, I literally read what is on the slide to them and they understand. So I feel like maybe there's a bit of a problem with feeling overwhelmed by, by the amount you have to read at home um, and because you're kind of trying to learn it all through reading. Um, so if you are struggling, these, these kind of things could help you. Okay, so complete your lessons when your timetable to have them in school. I've spoken to quite a lot of, um, of students this week who are trying to do their English on a Friday because the deadline is a Friday. Um, but you may have had two or three hours worth of English set for you that week. Now, you you won't have time to do three hours worth of work on the Friday, and that will feel stressful. But if you'd had a lesson on the Monday, a lesson on the Wednesday, and a lesson on the Friday, um, then in that case, um, you would have done two hours before the Friday. So then you just do that final hour on the Friday, okay? So do try and follow your timetable, because um, it will allow you to manage your workload in a much more effective way. Um, if you feel that there is just way too much work, um, please feel free to let me know that. I can simplify tasks for you. It's very difficult for me to tell at home how quickly or slowly you are completing things. Uh, and you're all very different people, so you will all be doing it at different rates. So please just communicate with me if you're finding this too much work. Don't sit at home getting stressed about it, all right? Um, 
You need to make sure that you have watched the teaching videos. They are not an optional extra bit of help. They are actually an intrinsic part of the lesson now. So I plan them in um, and you might not be able to understand the next part if you don't watch them. When a teaching video isn't necessary, if I say like, oh, I'm reading this, uh, but it's a choice if you want to listen to it, that's fine. Um, and also if you want to skip me reading articles or reading texts, that's fine too. But most of it, you do need to make sure you're watching. Uh, and my final advice is don't just open the Google Slides and see there's 30 slides and think, ah, oh, that's too much work, and then close it again. Because I do think some people are doing that. It takes you through it step by step. And now that I'm doing videos, almost half of, not half of those slides, but several of those slides are actually just a video um, that talks about the next few tasks, okay? So please do try and utilize the information that's there. Also, just trust yourself, okay? You're trying to do this on your own at home. Um, it's not as easy as having your teacher to reassure you that you're doing it the right way in the classroom. And you have to try and get a bit more self-confidence with kind of extended writing and knowing, and trying to trust that you're doing the right thing. And then when I've seen the writing, I can feed back to you. Um, if you don't complete tasks, then I can't give you any feedback. All right. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do that because I think a lot of people are struggling a little bit um, with feeling that they can stay on top of their work at home and and understand all of their work at home and I just wanted to remind you of those things but also to remind you that I am always here okay um, and please don't hesitate you're not causing me a problem um, I am your teacher and I can ring or I can uh, email and go through extra things with you okay guys I hope you all have a really great week um, and like I said please check your own posts on your classroom page specifically for where I've written uh, when your live session will be if you have any questions, any problems, any confusion, please give me a shout, send me an email or something. All right, hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.